what advice do you have for people that are focused on building like lean muscle mass and keeping like a decent, you know, physique? What's the best way to incorporate plant protein that's not going to be anything overwhelming for them? Okay, firstly, I think we need to bust this myth that plant protein is inferior to animal protein for building muscle and strength in the context of a diet that has enough protein, because that is a myth. And even the top protein researchers are no longer debating that. If you are consuming what I would say is suboptimal protein intake, particularly below 1.2 grams per kilogram per day, then animal protein is superior in that context, right? I'm not advocating for diets that are kind of low to moderate protein. I think higher protein density diets are associated with better outcomes. And there was just another paper published on this maybe a month ago out of Harvard that showed two things. They were looking at how plant protein and animal protein associated with cardiovascular disease and what the best ratio was. And they were also looking at, so firstly, what they found there was that when you had a higher plant to animal protein ratio, you had lower risk of cardiovascular disease. And particularly for coronary artery disease, it was 1.8 grams of plant protein for every one gram of animal protein was optimal. And they looked at two things. They said, well, what's better to have that ratio exist in a low protein diet or a high protein diet? And high protein was about 20% of calories, total calories from protein. And there's a lot of doctors in kind of plant-based community that'll say low protein diets are better not what they found. Cardiovascular disease risk was lowest in the, the group that had higher protein density. So there's more and more research that is supporting this idea of getting enough protein. We don't need to be scared of protein, but the ratio of the plant to animal protein, I do think is important. And this comes back to optimization. I think I've spoken to you about this before. For me, the reason I like consuming higher amounts of plant protein than animal protein is because the research clearly shows you can get just as good strength and hypertrophy muscle growth outcomes but at the same time you're optimizing long term for lower cardiometabolic disease so you're getting the best of both worlds mm -hmm. okay and i think you said you know does this mean people are eating more tofu tempeh etc yeah those are protein rich plant-based foods but you know, we can also throw lentils and chickpeas and different types of beans in there. There's TVP we can we can put hit into this. There's various plant-based protein powders for people that are training and working out. There's a lot of ways to increase plant protein in the diet. And, you know, we often, th maybe that's six or seven sources, Doug. But how many sources of animal protein do you think people are, are, are eating? Usually it's probably three or four as well. So we can fall into this idea of thinking, oh, there's not a lot of plant protein choices, but most people that are eating animal protein are only eating those, you know, four or five different sources of animal protein anyway. Uh, yeah. And I'm glad you brought that up. I think the myth has been busted. I mean, at least on my show and listening to a lot of the science-based health podcasts that plant protein and animal protein are essentially the same as long as you meet that total protein intake goal. And I think people just, they, for some reason, they associate like eating steak with building muscle. I just think that's something that's been kind of celebrated is like, oh, I'm going to eat a big piece of steak. It's going to go right to my biceps or whatever, right? <laughs> it's hard to do the same thing when you're like, yeah, I'm going to eat a nice plate of like beans and broccoli. You know what I mean? I totally get that. It's kind of logical to think, okay, if you eat muscle, it's going to go straight to muscle, right? I can understand how people think that, but some basic physiology will help people understand why that's not the case. So let's say you consume 30 grams of protein from a steak uh, and I consume 30 grams of protein from tofu. And then let's, let's go a step further and say that protein is made up of amino acids and an important amino acid is leucine. When we eat a food, steak or tofu, it goes through our stomach and enters our small intestine and the protein that is in that food is cleaved. It's broken down into amino acids. Right. And the amino acids are absorbed into circulation, into blood, right? Before they end up going to a tissue like muscle tissue and then could be used to build skeletal muscle, right? That's if they go there. And so once leucine from steak enters, it's not tagged as, hey, that leucine came from 
a cow. And once leucine enters circulation from tofu, it's not tagged as that leucine came from a soybean. To the body, leucine is leucine. It's in circulation. And what we understand, and this is the critical point, when you're eating a diet that contains enough protein, enough of those amino acids from plant foods are getting into circulation. By that point, your body has no idea about the history of those amino acids and whether they came from a cow or a soybean. When it comes to gut health, fiber is absolutely foundational, but not all fiber is created equal. That's why I teamed up with Dr. Will Bolsowitz to create DMN, Daily Microbiome Nutrition from 38 Terra. DMN is a next level complete prebiotic blend designed to nourish your gut with ingredients that are clean, clinically backed, and precisely dosed based on human clinical trials. Alongside five other prebiotics, we included Actazin, a green kiwi fruit powder that has been shown to support regularity and reduce occasional constipation. And Solnol, a resistant potato starch proven to increase key gut bacteria like Bifidobacterium and Akkermansia, while also improving stool consistency and digestive comfort. No fillers, no fluff, just high quality science-backed prebiotics in one easy scoop per day. If you're looking for a simple, effective way to support your gut health alongside a healthy diet, this is it. And for the months of April and May, you can get 25% off your first DMN subscription with the code PROOF at checkout, an exclusive offer for the PROOF community, bigger than any other offer you will see out there. Head to 38terra.com, that's 38tera.com, and use the code PROOF. Glorious poops and a happy gut are just around the corner.